Hi everyone, Coach Shannon here. Yes, I'm reporting from the car today, so I'm gonna try and keep my eyes on the road. Um, as you all know, I travel for a living and this is just the way I roll, but you know what? Um, we're all busy and I don't make any excuses and neither should you, because you wanna know why you are important. And just because you have a list of 100 other things to do for a hundred other people, which is awesome by the way. Um, it's so wonderful to be generous with your time. But keep in mind that if you don't take care of yourself, you're not gonna have time to do those things. So put yourself first. Um, congratulations to all of you. Um, we have made it through week one. Um, T25ers, you guys are doubling up today. Way to go. Uh, Pio folks, you guys actually have a rest day today. Uh, 21 day fixers, uh, no break for you. It's only 21 days, so keep it up. Uh, remember, your Pilates and your yoga are your recovery days, so really take advantage of those days um, to let your body stretch and um, enjoy the process. Uh, let's see, anybody else doing any other programs out there? Uh, my P90 folks, uh, way to kill it. That is your kickstart back into fitness. And I hope that you guys are really, really, really enjoying um, getting back into it. Um, it's a struggle for all of us. I don't care where you are in your journey. Um, Compare yourself to your own day one. Don't ever compare your journey to someone else in this group because you're not them. Uh, we also have different fitness levels that we begin this challenge group at and um, just make the most out of your own journey and realize that you are certainly stronger than you were on day one. So tomorrow, folks, is our first Saturday. And Saturday means that we are going to remeasure all the things that we did before we started this challenge group. So our waist, our chest, our thighs, our arms, and we're gonna weigh in. Now, our part of our accountability is to make sure that we post those results on Saturday. So I don't care what your actual measurements are. I just wanna know if you went up or if you went down in pounds and inches. Um, so just report those numbers, pluses, minuses, um, in pounds and inches. Um, more importantly, I wanna know how you're feeling by the end of this week. Those are called NSVs, my non-scale victories. So how do you feel? Do you feel like you have more energy? Or do you feel like you're completely wiped out? Um, are you proud of yourself for being consistent every day? Uh, let's see, what else? Um, do your jeans fit better? Oh, maybe you're not wearing jeans because it's summertime. However, um, do those shorts that you used to have feel a little bit better? Or your business suit feel a little bit better? Um, you know, that belt, is it a little bit looser around your waist? Um, tell me how you're feeling. Non-scale victories are so much better than whether the scale is going up or down. And also keep in mind that, you know, are you proud of your the way you're watching your nutrition? You know, nutrition is so important and it's so much more important than what the scale ever has to say. Uh, for some of you, if you have never worked out, I do not want you to be surprised if the scale goes up. Bottom line is that you are building muscle and muscle weighs more than fat and you need healthy muscle in order to burn that fat. So typically, week one, a lot of times people go up in weight. So please do not feel discouraged by that. Your body needs to, you know, you've thrown it into this crazy uh, regimen and, you know, it's kind of not comfortable with it, but, you know, you got to get uncomfortable or be comfortable getting uncomfortable.